All right, so one of the things I wanted to do today was make a cheap sandbag, but instead of using sand, I'm actually going to use some rubber mulch. Um, I went ahead and I got this bag here at an army surplus store. It's a 25 by 42. I got it for 29 bucks. You can shop online and get them a little bit cheaper, but I bought it locally. You didn't have to pay shipping or anything. So this is 29 bucks for the bag. You can see it's pretty big. This rubber mulch was uh, 5 90 something at the Home Depot, so let's just say six bucks. I got uh, four of them, they're approximately 20 pounds each, so that's going to be 80 pounds. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and pour this rubber mulch in here. Now, the great thing about rubber mulch, unlike sand, is sand's going to go through this. You're going to need to put it in bags and duct tape it and all this other shenanigans. And my personal experience with sand is that it always, even with commercial products, it always comes loose at some point, it's going to come out of your bag. This rubber mulch, you don't have to put it in anything else. I'm just going to tear the bag open, pour it in. Um, and this stuff's going to last forever. And it's not going to, because it's because of its thickness, it's not going to come out. Uh, basically, it's just, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's just, um, you know, basically, let's see if I can get that in the camera. It's basically just pieces of old tire and different things like that, rubber scrap that they've turned into this rubber mulch. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just take these bags, pour them into here, and we'll see what this looks like with 80 pounds. Um, if it, I'd like it to get to 100, but I wasn't sure how much it was going to fit in the bag because I'm also going to do another video for a second part to this video here that will show you how to close off the top and finish off the bag. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and load this uh, mulch up in here. It's pretty simple. Tear a little bit of a hole. I, uh, this bag already has a strap, so I hooked it around my truck. The truck's holding it up for me, and I'm going to pour it in. Alright, let's keep going. Got another bag. You wanna make sure it's packed in there good. And the final bag. Alright, this is how full the bag is with 80 pounds. So you can see that there's enough room in there. We're going to be able to tie off the top uh, and leave a little bit of space for it to move around. You don't want to fill it up to the top. <clears throat> Alright, first thing we're going to do is cut this uh, strap off because this is just going to get in the way of working out. Let's just take some standard scissors. I'm going to cut that off. Alright, now we're going to keep this clip. You never use one of these uh, top load duffel bags. There's a way to uh, close it up. I slide it through the grommets to the top. And then you're going to use this clip to hold it up. So you want to pass that down. But what we have to do is lock it up with some zip ties. So I got a couple of long zip ties here. You want to leave a little bit of space for the, the mulch to move. All right, so I put the zip tie up uh, a little bit higher, and this gives it space for the mulch to move around a little bit because you want it to be able to have a little bit of movement, uh, unlike it will be like the Atlas stone type of thing. So now that I know this is the length I want, I'm going to really pull down on that zip tie, get it nice and tight. And uh, I like to do two more zip ties, just to uh, make sure it's real nice and secure. Don't want this coming apart when I'm working on it with it.
All right, now that I got my three zip ties, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut off these edges here. Some scissors. You can use some like tin snips, those work well. Some kind of cutters. Make sure you don't cut your bag there. And finally, I'm gonna use some duct tape to lock up this top. Okay, duct tape never hurt nothing. So we got it on there good. Now what am I going to do with this piece here? Well, what I do, just in case I want to use this in the future for something else, I'm going to leave a little bit. A little bit here. Make kind of like a keychain with it. Bring it down. And now I'm going to duct tape that. So it's always there for later if I need it. Alright, you can see it still has the handle, but that will probably rip off after a short amount of time since that's 80 pounds in there.